Good morning, folks. Do not touch that dial. It's Norman Woodstock Spalding. I am the voice of Portland, Oregon, bare bones broadcasting. Skeleton Nation, the voice of Portland, Oregon. Do you believe that? Do you believe that this voice could be possibly the voice of Portland, Oregon? <laughs> uh, it's like the voice of Mayberry. It is too. And I'll tell you this, Portlandia ain't got a clue. No, they're just part. You know, the, the program Portlandia fits here. It doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> no. Yeah, it just part of everything else going on here. The right hand has no idea what the left hand is doing. So usually any remarks from the right hand about the left hand or what's going on isn't correct. And the left hand doing the same doesn't correct. And neither one of them know what's happening or each other. And most of the remarks are that. I find it quite astounding. Oh, here we go. Wait, here we go. Another great fact coming out of the paper here in Portland, Portland Oregon. In 20, two, I hate this word, 2011. Oh, God, that's an ugly idea, isn't it? 2011. Shut up. When you took the word 19 out of the whole thing, it ruined. Forget it. It's 19, 2011. Thank you. And it's still a dumb idea. And here's it. We're going to quote percent now, which no one knows what this means. And this percent says nothing of what you're trying to talk about at all. Here we go. This is a good example of what I'm talking about. 70% of the men arrested in Portland used one or more illegal drugs with nearly a quarter testing positive or methamphetamine, a federal study released Thursday. Dun, 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 dun. And they all had a shitty image of themselves, too. When we remember, somehow their intelligence tilted with their image of themselves. So, and they were all, had right thumbs, and every one of them had a left ear. Ah, shut up, it means nothing. Someday, when they find statistics of people behaving like idiots, they'll remember that they didn't use any kind of drugs at all, and quote them as that, and how negative their influence was, or degrade, or deviant, or deceptive, or any other horrible effect they could possibly have in society, they will be earmarked because they did not use drugs. And it will be considered just as hazardous a situation in living as using drugs. And pretty soon, of course then the fact won't even be brought up at all because it has nothing to do with the price of eggs. And it's just to fan somebody's misunderstanding of the whole subject. Kind of like using children as shields to get more grant money like the school teachers do. You know what I mean? It, it keeps the uh, reader of the news of this crap constantly in a labor position and getting taken advantage of with no conditions and no benefits, especially if you're reading this to get any information. What you really get informed is that in Portland, Oregon, no one making a remark has a, a clue of what the hell is happening, even if they get it from the, you know, Associated Press or wherever they get it. They're willing to print about any pile of crap to get recognition for fanning the fire of horseshit. Horseshit. Somehow intelligence tilted. Horse stuff. Horses with no brain are worthless, aren't they? They might as well pull the load and shit. They won't even make it home to the barn. A horse who can't find his own self back to the barn worth a damn. And these are horses who don't know where the barn is. I don't know if they were in the barn. But it's poppycock! Well, then, you know, they're not able to get into the doctor's office in Portland or they wouldn't be using drugs in the first place. Anybody who can get themselves fixed, of course, passes, you know, backs up, remembers, gains maturity and doesn't use drugs. So you know this much in Portland, Oregon, 72% of the men arrested were unable to get in the doctor's office because of the stingy positions in the area. And that You really find this in Portland, Oregon, quite a, an extensive network of stinginess in the positions. In the, they do everything through grant. You won't find them walking into their office and having them welcome you and trying to help you with the decency of their generosity of heart and their training and diagnosis. And they're sitting on their ass in between patients so busy doing nothing, they could actually, I, I, to keep your license, you'd have to see so many people during the day in the course of office visits for nothing, no, no, excuse me, as a contribution to the industry to keep your license. You'd have to contribute to the industry to keep your license. I'm the voice of Portland, Oregon, I'm Norman Woodstock Spalding. Thank you very much for tuning in. I 
I know you've enjoyed it, and carry and pass it on. The bus company in Portland, Oregon is a wonderful, wonderful place. They stop and do all kinds of good deeds. It's just a wonderful place. Portland, Oregon, thanks to TriMet and the Portland Police Bureau, and there's just some cool thing. The mayor, Mayor Sam Adams, a wonderful man. It's just, man, if you have any kind of um, a contribution to add to a lovely community, please come here and move in, especially if you're a Chinese man and able to borrow money from the international community. We would like you to come here and invest your life and live and, and contribute the wonderful aspects of, of living that a human is able to do uh, from Chinese wits and, and investment. Please come and start a great factory here uh, in Portland and borrow from the international, not the Federal Reserve, no. Borrow from the international community like you do in China and, and run and start a new life here. No, continue your life and never start anything new, please, Mr. Chinese man. So come here and continue your life in a very progressive and lovely way. We adore you. Thank you very much. This is the voice of Norman Woodstock Sporling in Portland, Oregon. Uh, we don't announce the calendar dates anymore. That calendar is outdated this year, so we're not going to use that. I don't know how to announce the official arrival of this conversation, but I'll figure it out here sooner or later. Thank you very much for tuning in.